after state Democrats flee, thus stopping a special legislation process and voting, the governor threatens to go old school. Today, more than 50 Democratic members of the Texas House left Austin and left Texas. I can and I will continue to call special session after special session after special session all the way up until election next year. And so if these people want to be hanging out wherever they're hanging out on this taxpayer paid junket, they're going to have to be prepared to do it for well over a year. As soon as they come back in the state of Texas, they will be arrested. They will be cabined inside the Texas Capitol until they get their job done. Gotta love how they roll in Texas. A special legislative session had been called by Governor Abbott with the purpose of voting on a bill that was going to shore up voter integrity. Of course, we know the Democrats care absolutely nothing about voter integrity because if we actually had voter integrity, they would not win elections. It's really not any more complicated than that. When you hear Camilla Kamala thinks she's a hottie Harris say this about voting ID when it comes to people who live in rural America. Is agreeing to voter ID one of those compromises that you'd support? I don't think that we should underestimate what that could mean. Because in some people's mind, that means, well, you're going to have to um, Xerox or, or, or photocopy your ID to send it in to prove you are who you are. Well, there are a whole lot of people, especially people who live in rural communities, who don't, there's no Kinko's, there's no Office Max near them. People have to understand that when we're talking about voter ID laws, be clear about who you have in mind and what would be required of them to prove who they are. So really, people who live in rural America can't figure out how to get a photocopy done? <laughs> why? Out, out there in rural America, why? They don't have fancy things like photocopiers, so they got to literally hand copy everything. That's why the kids go to school. They don't even have books because, you know, the teacher just writes it on blackboard and a child has to write it down in a notebook because that's what they do because they got no printing presses, they got no computers, and they certainly don't got no photocopy. I mean, that that was what she was saying. She is the most insulting, narcissistic, dimwit boob. And yes, you heard it here, folks. Um, she is an incredibly filled with herself, condescending person. In fact, when she was in Michigan recently, she was laughing about suck it up, get the shot. Let's take it to the streets. Take it to the people. That's what we're talking about doing. <laughs> it's time. It's time. So it is time, and it is time to roll up your sleeves and get the shot. Could take the fight to the streets be seen as an incitement to insurrection? Rioting? Non-peaceful protesting method? She said, we got to take this to the streets. These people got to get the jab. And what if they don't? You know, as President Biden threatens to go door to door to vaccinate people, maybe what we ought to do is go door to door and actually take a survey and find out who actually voted for Joe Biden. But that's just a thought. So Governor Abbott has made it clear that by leaving the state, and handcuffing this special legislation process, uh, when they return, he'll have them arrested. Now that means placed under a house arrest where they are forced to stay at the Capitol until they vote. And of course, the only reason they fled, they know they don't have the votes to stop it. And the new voting laws being proposed in Texas do not limit voting. In fact, it actually expands it and creates even more, which I personally find to be problematic. You know, the Constitution makes it very plain when voting ought to happen. And all of these states that keep making it wider and wider and adding more and adding more ways to vote, you are absolutely setting up ways for the system to be compromised and to create problems that don't need to be created. But nonetheless, this idea that asking somebody to show some ID is somehow racist 
is a canard. It is a myth. It is simply an argument trying to keep things worked up between the left and the right while the deep state does their thing, which is whatever they feel like pushing through their agenda, no matter what the will of the people are. So uh, kudos to Governor Abbott for taking a stand and basically saying, uh, this isn't how we do things in Texas. We don't run from fights. Um, these guys are quitters. And he also made the case that it wasn't just this voting rights bill that was being voted on, but there were other issues, which I'm sure Democrats are not excited about, things that would clamp down on abortion, uh, laws that would clamp down on critical race theory being taught in the schools in Texas. But there were some things that Democrats wanted in the bill and are there and now can't be voted on, like the expansion of funding for the foster care program. Because after all, these poor kids in foster care, they need the funds. The governor put that in the bill and now they're not there to vote on it. So with all of their bleeding heart talk that there's so much we need to be doing for the people of Texas and restricting their votes is not one of them. Well, then why aren't you there to vote on the things that you propose, like the expansion of funding for foster care? This is all a bunch of smoke and mirrors. It is all a political stunt, and they're being given refuge now in Washington, D.C., which apparently now is a sanctuary city for rogue Democrats around the country in ways that they can try to upend their Republican state legislative bodies. This shall be interesting. Thank you, Mr. Biden, for the complete chaos and run amuck anarchy you have brought to the nation. Ah. I feel so much better having gotten that out. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you're a subscriber to the channel. Give us a thumbs up and a like. Make sure you share this video to your social media platforms. Tell all your friends about this channel because we know YouTube's not. Smack the bell, click the word all to get notification of my next rant.